Today I'm going to show you guys how I do my three favorite vocal effects. True Sound Studios is in your ears. Okay, so first I'm just going to let you listen to the beat. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Rey Mysterio. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and varials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. I am a scary ghost. Really though, I'm on that merry go. You are venereal. Enemies lurk and I walk in dead burial. They throwing shade at Jurassic Park, flare them all. So this is just a beat I threw together really quick. It's just a kick, snare, hi-hat, and a piano and with a string on it. Just really simple. Um, the rapper, though, I did take this vocal actually from a different song and just threw it over here. This is Ryan Brennan. Um, I will include his info in the uh, description of this video. So, um, so first thing, you know, I think a lot of people really seem to love reverb and delay, and I hear a lot of tracks where somebody just kind of does this. They grab some sort of, you know, delay, whatever it might be, and then, you know, kind of blend it low over the track. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like in the stereo. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and burials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. And, you know, you just kind of hear this big congestion of vocals and it just starts to muddy things up and it's a little too chaotic. Um, I mean, let's be honest here. We're listening to the vocal, you know, good majority of your listeners are listening to that vocal and you got to place the delay in certain parts that are really key. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do what I like to call like selective delay. So all we're going to do is we're going to grab our main vocal, which is right here. And we are going to just bounce this. And essentially, we're just making a copy of this. Um, but we all the plugins that are on this actual vocal track are going to become part of this one audio file now. So I'm going to take this. Um, in my DAW, I just go to Bounce Track. And we're going to put this on our fourth track, which is the delay one. Uh, we want it to be in mono. I am going to do a fast bounce right now, which is kind of, I'm assuming, to you know, makes it a little less quality wise, but, um, for this purpose of the video, we don't need to have anything too crazy. That's not going to change what we're doing here. Okay. So, um, I have picked once again, um, the H delay, uh, this is by waves and our project setting is at 120 beats per minute. So before we go any further, if you purchased a beat from somebody else, if you made your own beat, you need to write down and even potentially put it in the title of the beat, the music, so that you can do things like this. Um, you need to know the tempo of the track. Now, you can very simply, you know, either write it down, um, ask the creator, or use a free app like what I do, and I'll just tap tempo it and just figure out the BPM of the track. Because I made this beat, I know it's at 120 beats per minute. So we're going to set our delay up, as you can see right here, for 120 beats per minute. Now, I particularly like, um, you know, quarter notes. I think that works pretty well. And for the tempo of the song, this should probably be pretty good. Um, there is the ping pong function on a lot of delays, which means, you know, when it goes from like left to right. Um, for the sake of this, uh, because it's in a verse, we're not going to do anything too crazy with it. So we will just keep uh, the ping pong off. And essentially, it's just going to be mono. So, um, and also, one more thing. Make sure it's 100% wet, meaning we are only getting the what the delay is doing. We're, we don't want to introduce any more of the dry vocal or the original vocal. So um, we're going to solo our delay track. Essentially, it's just the copy of the vocal. Born in ethereal, Born in ethereal. came in. So this is what it's going to sound like. Um, and as you can tell, I also, um, we're doing some filters on this to make the delay sound a little bit more like an effect. So um, you can do, if your delay doesn't have these filters, you can very simply use an EQ, you know, cut off the bass, cut off the treble. In this particular situation, I rolled off everything below 500 uh, hertz. So... All of our lows are essentially gone. And then the highs here, we're rolling off everything above, what does that say, 7? 7K? So everything above 7K. So it's kind of giving us a little bit of an effect. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo. 
So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to get into our vocal, our delayed vocal track. So I'm going to actually start cutting some of this. Born in ethereal, ethereal, came in the stem, came in the stem, in the stem. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to chop, we're going to just find like the little spots of the vocal that work. Ethereal, ethereal, ethereal. Say like that, like the ethereal works. So we're going to get rid of the rest of this stuff. And then now we Born have. Born in ethereal, ethereal, came in the stereo. So just to be clear, I am listening to the main vocal, and we are listening to the delay. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. So what, see what we're doing here now is I am just, we're just selecting the spots for our delay. Stereo like Ray Mysterio. Stereo like Ray Mysterio. I'm in the lab. Okay, so this is going to be definitely too much. And we'll go to here. Yo, like Ray Mysterio. Mysterio. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and varials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. I'm a scary ghost. Scary ghost. Really, though, really, though, really though. So there we go. So as you can tell, so we're just filling in pretty much anywhere there's a gap in the main vocal. We are filling it in with um, this delay. So, you know, you can keep well, going. This is scared scared him. Him. He's rapping like... He's rapping like, he's rapping like, he's rapping like so just make sure also... When you're doing stuff like this, we're just going to get rid of the rest. Um, we don't need to do the whole thing. Um, that you you want to um, put the fades on the beginning and end of this, this these cuts here because it's going to make it a little bit more smooth. You're not going to hear harsh cut-ins. You're also not going to hear if you have potential background noise in your track. Um, you're going to get rid of all that. We're just going to really focus in on just that little section of delay. So... Now let's take a listen to what we just did. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and varials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. I am a scary ghost. Really though, I'm on that merry go. You are venereal. Enemies lurking, I walk in dead burial. They throwing shade at Jurassic Park, flare at them. All this is scared of them. He's rapping like there was a... So as you can tell, it, you know, it fills in those gaps in, in, the, in the vocal. And it really... It kind of really fills it out. Now you can do a lot more with this. You know, you could take off the effect on there and make it sound more identical to the actual track. Like, you know, if we were to take off all these filters, Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio, Ray Mysterio. you can also the feedback is essentially how many times it's going to repeat. So you could also reduce that. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. See, so it's fade, the delay is fading out quicker. You can also just change the the timing of this. We could go to eighth note, which was going to be even quicker. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo. You know, it doesn't really work for this track. And then also the ping pong option. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. So you can hear it going left and right. Um, it's kind of fun, but you know. It's also a lot. Um, we do have doubles going on in this track. So let's put this back uh, roughly to where we had it. Somewhere around there. Okay, cool. So that, you know, that's really simple. I mean, obviously you can use a whole bunch of different types of delays. Um, and it's kind of like a cool way to, uh, to do delays without putting it on the entire track and without automating. So you can really pick and choose what you want. So uh, we're going to do our next one is pitch shifting. Now, I'm sure we've all heard pitch shifting before, you know, the, either the high vocal or the really low vocal. So once again, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to bounce this, essentially just make a copy, and we're going to put it on our pitch shift. Once again, in mono, don't do fast bounce if this is for real. Uh, but for these purposes, for this video, we're going to do the fast bounce. Okay, so what I've chose here is the uh, Sound Toys, the Little Alter Boy. I really like this plugin. I use it a ton. <laughs> so if we bring this back up to zero, this is what it would sound like. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. You know, besides some level drop, not much. So if we change this, we're going to go down a full octave. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. Or we can go up the octave. Born in So in this case, um, I thought it kind of sounded good um, down lower. So we're going to do, once again, we're going to only throw in um, these these low parts in, you know, maybe where I necessarily think they are important. Born in ethereal, ethereal. came in the stereo like Ray Mysterio. Stereo. 
So maybe this should go all the way to here. Uh, once again, we're gonna fade these. Stereo. Came in the stereo, I ran the stereo. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and burials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. So maybe we'll put it in here. In the stereo, I ran the stereo. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and burials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. I'm. So. Once again, you know, we're just kind of like finding spots that it sounds good in. Cereals, you are at home putting milk in your cereal. I am a scary ghost. Really though, I'm on that merry go. You are venereal. Enemies lurking, I walk in dead burial. I'm on that merry go. You are venereal. Enemies lurking, I walk in dead burial. They throwing shade at Jurassic Park, flare them. So. I know it sounds really cool, but you don't want to put it on every part because it's going to take away the, you know, the effect of it, um, of it just coming in on, you know, cool sections, things you want to reinforce even further. So obviously we can keep going through the track like that, but take a listen. Um, and then I'll also pitch this up as we go. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo, I ran the stereo. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and burials. You are at home putting milk in your cereal. I am a scary ghost. Really though, I'm on that merry go. You are venereal. Enemies lurking, I walk in dead burial. They throwing shade at Jurassic Park, flare them. All this is scared. Scared. So, uh, so once again, yeah, another really cool way of adding, you know, a vocal effect without having to do it to the actual main vocal. Um, what's nice about this is we're just kind of choosing where to put this and not having to do automation. I don't know, for whatever reason, I really just, uh, doing some automations for effects and stuff just kind of bug me. Um, we do have digital audio workstations that, you know, I mean, for me, I can get up to 150, 175 tracks and it's not really a big deal. So, you know, adding another couple tracks to do some really cool vocal effects is in my opinion, is not a big deal. So that was number two, the pitch shifting, and obviously you can play around with that. You could even automate it and make it go real low and have it slowly start going up and down. Um, and you know what? Why don't I just show you how to do that real quick? So in my DAW, this is Cakewalk Sonar Platinum. Um, I have a link in the bottom of the description of this video. I can just go to automation Here's our little Alter Boy plugin, the pitch shifting one. I can go to pitch, and I can actually just draw in uh, where I want this to actually change pitch. So, for example, we could have it increase pitch as it goes. So, take a listen. Dream in the stereo. Like Ray Mysterio. So, you know, if you wanted something like that, or maybe you wanted to increase, um, it would bring it back to zero. So, kind of lose a little bit of the effect part of it. Um, but Game in the stereo, like Ray Mysterio. Um, so that'd be maybe cool for a part where maybe the music all drops out and you're just using this as just an effect. But you can all automate these effects, you know, any way you want. Game in the stereo, like Ray Mysterio. So you could do fun stuff like that. Okay, guys, so the last thing is um gonna be chopping vocals. The little like stutters, I guess you would call them. Um so it's really important that you sync this track to the project. I can't stress that enough. It really screws things up if you do not um, sync your track to the project, meaning if your beat is at 120, 120 beats per minute, then your, you know, your project should also be at 120 beats per minute. This will alleviate so many issues and will really help editing vocals, especially these chops, so much easier. Born in ethereal, came in the stereo, like ran the stereo, I'm in the lab doing kick. So you can tell um, our click is right on with our beat. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little chunk of this audio right here. So there's a little gap in here of audio. So what we can do is take this guy here. This is the beginning of that, that vocal part. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our... I just made another track. It's called Chops. <laughs> Very creative, I know. Um, and since hopefully your DAW has non-destructive editing, it's kind of easy just to grab a little chunk of audio and bring it down here. So we first want to take this, and this is the the C, the, the word came. So this is the C on came, k, aim. 
Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a small little note here. And you can see up top, we're gonna make it a little smaller than that. It's, I think it's a 16th, I think that's what it is right there. Uh, once again, um, doing a little, uh, the volume fade at the beginning and end of this little chunk of audio. That'll help cut down on some of that literal clicking noise. Then we're gonna turn on our snap to grid. We're gonna go to 16th notes. And we're gonna take this, copy it. I'm gonna delete this and then it's only gonna let me actually copy it in, in time with something. So I can do one, skip one. Let's do these four real quick. So this is the little gap of audio as you can see here. Here, let me move this up. Um, so here's a little chunk. Born in ethereal. Ethereal. So that's not what I want. Uh, how about this? Born in ethereal. Came in the so you kind of get this. Born in ethereal. Came in the stereo. Now obviously you could add some sort of effect. Um, for example, we could cut out all the low end on this by just very simply cutting out a whole bunch of lows. It's probably a little much. Real. So you kind of get this. Born in ethereal, came in stereo. You know, just a little, little drops of audio and little fun things to listen to make the production, you know, sound more professional sometimes. Um, and you can also cut out what I just did here. This is the beat. Born in ethereal, came in stereo. So just you know, it just fills in the the gaps a little bit more. Um, and then you could also do another thing where. We turn on our snap to grid and let's find a long note like this, this Mysterio. What we can do is we can actually just take our eraser and, okay, that's going to be too much. So let's go to 30 second notes. We're going to take our little eraser. So this is where the measure starts. Um, we could probably cut it here. Um, I'm cutting both the vocal and the double right now. So that we get this. So that we get that little chopping effect. Now, what actually works out the best is if that that word that um, or the phrasing or whatever starts right on zero because it makes it a little better. Because we have a like a little almost fade in there, so it doesn't sound as good as I would want. But you could do so. You could just do this then. I think this might be on the upbeats, but let's take a listen. Yeah, so that's on the upbeat. So um, you got to play around. It doesn't work in every spot, but uh, this one might work pretty well. Oops. So I'm all I'm doing once again is just using the eraser and the uh, snap to grid function to cut out audio. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and You are at home putting milk. So it's just fun, little fun ways to, you know, spice up your track. And also you could cut the music out there too. I'm in the lab doing kickflips and variables. You are at home, but it... Oops, too far. Bring it in right there. I'm doing kickflips and variables. You are at home, but in milk in your cereal. I'm a scary ghost. Scary ghost. Really though, I'm... So just uh, another fun way to make effects and make your vocals just sound, you know... A little bit more fun to listen to and a little bit you know more professional in the end um, you know obviously you want to keep a lot of the effects you know not as loud as the main vocal but that's just in my opinion so um, once again guys you know I hope uh, I hope that you learned something from this video um, please feel free to comment you can also email me um, with new ideas maybe you guys want me to do some other videos on some other vocal processing vocal effects type things uh, please send me an email or contact me, and I will try to get those done as soon as possible for you. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to stay up to date with True Sound Studios, follow us on our Instagram page. We post on Instagram every day, and we'll keep you up to date with pictures, videos, beats, tutorials, behind the scenes, and tips and tricks on all things recording. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm Ryan Wiesner, we're here in my studio, True Sound Studios, and True Sound Studios is in your ears.